policy, and you can right. see now the fun begins, right? Because right. well, and it's just that's the way it is. So you can you know try to make it better, and in the end, it, this is why you get air leaks. It's just the hose. Okay, now same deal. This is a little trickier in that. So what you want to do? Here's just here. It's going to come right up here, right? So we may, may be better off opening this and overlapping. Well, you can't. I mean, this stuff, it really is not interested in coming off. No, what I mean here? Instead of... Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, okay, so, great, good idea. Why not? Brilliant. Okay, so, if you'll hold that end of the bag, and I can hold this side, and I just want to get that stuff laid down. And now we're not going to take this cover off, because we want to have this stuff... Just ready to seal all the parts are in. Correct. Overcut that. Peel back a little bit. And just make it. See? Alright, so then this is the seal for the bag. So we need a little spot through the bag. where this thing can go. This is where it gets fun, because you don't want too big a hole. If you want a big enough hole. And then this seals on that. So that's ready to go. And then when we get all the parts, we're going to lay up the parts. And then the parts are going to have peel ply put on them. And this is this wacky material that allows resin to flow through it. Um, and if you, you can't really tell. You'll see it when the parts come out. But there's this kind of a flat sheen. That's what the back side of the parts are going to look like. Right? Oh, right. Yeah. They're not going to be glossy. And they're not going to be flat and smooth. And, right? They're going to look like this. Anyway, so peel ply goes on, and then breather fabric, this stuff, which air can travel through, and then it goes in the bag, and then we suck the air out. It's just after you listen to these, you know, any kind of popular area, it's like every 20 minutes there's the same loop of song. And these guys play this really wacky stuff that you never hear. Some of it's good, some of it's kind of stupid. <laughs> I have to be able to suck all the air out of this bag. How do I prevent it from sealing against itself? All the air out. What I have to do? No, I have to have a pad. <laughs> for the air. No, no, you, uh, this, this is for the so, air. So, what we're going to do is we're going to create an air path yeah. through to like, all oh, the uh, new construction parts. Uh, uh, you know, it looks, it looks like it's careful not to like, 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 rouse the parts around the pad on the inside. And we want this air path. Like, 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 like the, the 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 so are these ones on the side of the plastic just suck yeah, out of them? Well, I gotta have an air pad. So and now they have like little like lines, uh, like it was coming came out of a press mold or something. Ah, uh, mold. Uh, so like yeah, so like it, like instead of like the tires like this, okay. the stripes came yeah. across. Okay, now here we go. Watch, ready? Anybody want to watch vacuum bagging in action? It's not that exciting. <laughs> Okay, now look what's happening. We're sucking all the air out of there. And all those molds are now having this stuff sucked. Watch how all of a sudden the shape of this, nine, this 749 exhaust heat shield is going to start emerging out of the wow. Yeah, you see all the parts. There's the other parts. And here's coming up on 20 pounds. You can run the pump 
on and off is really all you're trying to do is once, it, once this stuff's, and especially for these flat parts, these are no problem. The Ducati heat shield here is going to be more challenging because every time the pressure comes off of that thing, until it starts to set, that one little curve in the corner is going to try to, un, it's going to, try to pull away from that part. 